So kind of, yeah, going on from that, like, I don't know, from my perspective, I don't know if this is true, but yeah. it seemed like between, yeah, like, the raw deep stuff and then, like, your own solo stuff, it felt like you took a bit of a break. Um, was there any reason for that or is, is that true even? A break? No, I didn't take a break. No, I didn't do no break. No, I've actually done works the whole time. So you went from raw deep straight into the yeah 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 stuff. yeah. Okay. We did, did. I just yeah no, I just I just upped my uh, work, work rate. rate okay like, I see. by a lot okay I see so it went in raw deep okay so at the start I didn't do much I done I used to think so radio was the thing okay and obviously it was but what I didn't understand is that everyone else was doing releasing and yeah. shows and as well you know what I'm saying I used to just go radio all the, I used to go radio like four times a week oh man okay that's it. But I thought I, I thought I was gaining a, a fan base or a, a yeah. notoriety them time there, but not really. And I realized obviously, man, were going radio and they were going studio and yeah. they were doing this, and I weren't doing the other yeah. stuff. Okay. And then when it comes to like the end of Roll Deep, like when like kind of not disbanded, but everyone was just you know 2010, everyone was doing like no 2011, yeah, 12, like everyone was kind of just doing their own thing at that point, yeah. like people were just doing whatever. I realized I I was heavily part of Roll Deep. You know what I'm saying? As in. I was doing lots of work, we was help, help doing stuff yeah, and doing yeah. verses and I'd done all the shows and all that jazz. But I hadn't, I realised I hadn't done anything for myself. Yeah. So I thought, if Roll Deep stops, what, what I left with? Yeah, no, it's true. It's you true. know what I mean? Because like, yeah. Target was on one extra, yeah. Wiley's always been Wiley, Skepto yeah. was doing his thing, Jamie, yeah. obviously it's JB, J2K was doing his thing. Yeah. Everyone was doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a, like a set of men that weren't, doing, that were just yeah. Roll Deep and I was part of that set. Yeah. I thought, nah, bro, I can't just be here for this long. And yeah. then, if this stops, I'm just gone. Finish, yeah. So I, and then get that we lost. Not we lost. We gave up the studio. We had a road deep studio. Okay. And then me, we flow down and target got our own studio, like a a smaller one. And that's when I said, okay, we've got no okay. Now I've got time, space, yeah, yeah. to you know what I mean. I'm yeah. gonna sit down here and do everything and try to just do as much as I can. Okay. So that was like 2013. Okay. That's at the end. And so from 2013 to now, yeah, I've just tried. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's what I've just tried because before I not saying I was I wasn't trying I was just I was good and I, yeah. I enjoyed it and the thing but there were so many elements I was missing yeah so but now I was from them time two thousand thirteen to now I really tried you know okay. what I mean yeah no that's my that's like literally like a ten year ten year stretch yeah because yeah no, I was looking for your discography and it's like yeah I think probably in like the last ten years you probably released about. 10 projects or oh, that, more than that, more than that. that on the streaming platform. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's another thing as well. Before, I didn't know how to, I didn't they get, you know, it's true. everyone thinks they're using Roll Deep or whatever used around. But I'm not, I didn't know how to really sell any projects. Yeah. I, it, man, not much information was given. I'm not even going to, it's not even a slight to anyone. It's just like, it wasn't like now. Like, yeah. put it, if like, like my little cousin or someone wants to make music, I tell them, yeah. oh, you could do this, this, yeah. this, this. Like, no one really told man anything. I'm going to be yeah. real. Do you know what I mean? And I guess it was a different time back then, but I just didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I didn't know how to release. I didn't know how to any of that stuff. Yeah. It was a mystery. You know what I mean, so I just had to find my way. So even in the in the ten years, like I said, from 2013, and I just made bare mistakes. Like there was obviously SoundCloud era. It was free promos and yeah. all that stuff. So once I clocked, I had to put things on streaming. Well, streaming wasn't a thing. You know what I'm saying yeah. then, yeah, nah, it, it, yeah. So it's yeah. I, I tried to put out something every year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, more, more, at least yeah. every year, one yeah. thing at least yeah. every year, and. And I, I've grown and done that. I've I've kept to that. Okay. So far. Yeah. So now I say where I'd kind of jump back on your music was I'd say um, outbursts from the outskirts, which I thought was proper dope. So. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of wanted to ask like, what was the whole concept? Because it seemed like that kind of became like a movement in a way. So that that was my last ditch attempt of saying, yeah, bro, I'm just doing everything. Yeah. Like. I'm putting my all into this project. So I was yeah. doing projects again. I was a bit anti. Yeah. I thought no one likes man, no one rates man. So fuck you lot. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Outburst was like, bruv, I got, an, I have this idea for this project. As in, I had the name. I always started my names in the projects. Yeah? yeah. Had the names. And then I thought I was writing. I got, I linked up with Louis. Oh yeah, Louis B made all of that, innit? Louis B. Yeah. He's a very big part of it. So I met Louis B. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even meet him, but like, on the email yeah and he kept sending me lots and lots of beats yeah. and then we made a project called white jean suit confidence yeah okay but that was before outburst literally the one before it okay but i was broke yeah and i went to studio and i think i rec tried to record it in one day yeah mad flipping off and it was so <laughs> and it was rubbish it was yeah. like it was good but it was rubbish like because it, it was rushed didn't yeah, it? i'm rushed, trying to like yeah. get it done then i thought no nah, i need to pattern up and really 
let me I have to try and make a good project. Yeah. Have to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and then Louis was good enough to make different variety of beats, but they're all grind beats. And then okay. we just sat down, not sat down to give us Michael's, we didn't we even meet. Okay, so it was all over email. All over email. That's and then it. I just sat down and done everything for that project. Done the cover, we done thing. I mean, just, but I'm, so if I had an idea for a song, I said, I want to get do on it. I want to get like see that like, slew. Yeah, yeah. I want to think Jamaica beats sound good and it's all okay. this different pattern. Like yeah. we went over different pattern bare times. Yeah. I want to get JME on it. I want to get actually I didn't want to get Prez on it. I want to get Jamie on it. But then I saw Prez and I never. I said like, I was I was being more open basically saying yeah. yes. I want to make this the best it can be. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. like, I want to make this the best project I can make. Yeah. Like I said, there was no money. I didn't have no label or distribution deal yeah. or nothing. I just thought. But I'm not gonna let that hold me back. I'm gonna put my all into it. Like even yeah. with the uh, Mikhail Payne intro, oh, yeah, I had yeah, that yeah. idea. I said, yeah, we'll do that, bro. Like, yeah. like get that, and then the, all the different outbursts in between. It was Izzy and Snowy yeah. and Maxstar. Yeah. And I always wanted that. Like, I think Stormzy just done it on this project as well, which is sick. Yeah. Like the same beat and a lot of different people doing it. Okay. Because yeah, he had yeah. him, he had Sam yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I always wanted to have that. I don't know, I had yeah. that in my head, and I said, I'm gonna do that. So it basically, it was everything it could be. Yeah. And I want to say as much of my stories. And in terms of like the outsider yeah. movement, yeah. I think I found the right word to describe m- me. Yeah. And that's what made people resonate rather than okay. like for before, like, oh, I'm the best MC, I'm got flows yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I hear all that, but it don't mean anything. Yeah. Do you know I what feel mean? like, yeah, it don't really resonate with it. It don't people. resonate nothing. Yeah. Like the best is all subjective anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so who cares? Yeah, Who's the no, best? That's true. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the best true. is all subjects, especially music. Like yeah. it's not like I gave going back to football. I'm not, you know, I don't like football, but you know what I mean. Like if you, whoever scores more, they're the better team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or better player or whatever. In music, it's all subjective, bro. Yeah. So being the best doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah, no, it's true. You just need to be it's like true. the most honest, the most truthful. I feel like the yeah. most. Yeah, you know I mean, who you connect with. Yeah. Like I said, like, I like I like, I like Dipset. Yeah. But you can't tell me Cameron's not the best. Oh yeah, he just but then says if, it how it is. But if you <laughs> listen, if you if you said his lyrics next to a Kendrick Lamar yeah. song or something, or what's the my man Black Four or whatever, oh, that yeah. high level rapper, oh, you yeah. say my, my man's chatting shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, true. but I feel that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. computers pewed in and all that type yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. More than lyrical miracle or whatever, like Nas, yeah. for example. Like again, for Nas, for example, yeah. Them time that I never connected with Nas like that, yeah. but I would prefer Cameron or Cameron, Juice. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and again, I understand now like what's this and that, but I'm trying to yeah. say the connection to who the person is make, yeah. means more than what they're saying. No, that's true. So when I when outburst times, I just had this term. Obviously, I didn't come up with the term outsider, but I branded myself as that. As in, yeah, I understand what I am. I'm the outsider of this thing. Yeah, that just made, I, and I just yeah honed in on that. Yeah, honed in. Honed just in. Honed. <laughs> But yeah, no, nah. and then um, the project after that was the Outsiders Live Forever. Yeah, that was the mad thing. Yeah. So I kind of, yeah, I wanted to ask you, yeah, why, like, for you, why do Outsiders Live Forever? Like, what's the whole Because usually, idea? that Outsiders Live Forever is, like, well, see the people that really think outside the what's the norm. Those yeah. are the ideas that actually live on and yeah. change things. Yeah, 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 true. Do you know what I mean? True. Like, if everyone just thought, like, how they thought before, yeah. Society be very stagnant. Yeah, yeah. Someone said, "Raw, this is like this. What about if we do that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know at the time, I'm like, "Nah, bruv, we don't do it like that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's yeah. more about stepping out and black. Don't be not being a, not afraid. I don't know what the right word is, but not being scared of like not being the in thing. Yeah. You go and forge your own path. That's why even the cover, I'm just in like walking into yeah. the unknown. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So even that, I'm gonna be real. I don't think that's the best project sonically. Yeah. But the branding. Yeah. The messaging, yeah, yeah everything. But people together. love that project, bro. Yeah, they really do like that. Yeah. Like I saw like the most merch off that project because yeah. of the, the t-shirt. Yeah, you saw I, I even. Yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you know I mean, you got it. Like yeah. all of that was like a, and that's and I think that was the first time I understood. Branded and yeah. thing and messaging that. Oh my yeah. god, okay. Yeah, getting this message because not just with my voice, like yeah. visually. Yeah. Um, the, that the title that yeah. means a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you can explain sure. it to someone, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you can, and yeah. it can mean different things to different people. Yeah, like that's why I don't like calling my stuff like "Spars and Beats Volume One." Yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah, me, yeah volume it means two. nothing to it people. Don't mean nothing, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. You it's know what I mean? True. Like all when all the great albums, the great projects, whatever. Usually, the ta- album titles of like they just they mean they yeah, mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not just like, yeah, like gangster rap. To you know, like, like, what's yeah. that? 
obviously you're gonna have a rhythm of them but like the feeling of that like, again and i'm created in yeah. project i'm not just creating songs and putting it together like yeah. compilation thing i'm creating with the intention of start middle end yeah do you know what i mean so i have to have a strong title so you know what i mean it's the cover yeah, it's of the book. like a story basically it is a story yeah. i literally start with a title i don't start writing until i get okay, the title i see do you know what i mean because i need to know and explore the themes within this thing again so you said you ask people what outside live forever means yeah. i can tell you yeah. and it can mean this to you and it can yeah. mean that and it's this x y z okay. rather than oh, i just thought it sounded cool yeah it's a bit oh, no, it's true, it's true. yeah even like i think little sim she dropped something earlier Amazing. this week yeah and that like forgotten the title but yeah no, thank like, you yeah that's it but it's like yeah she kind of had like yeah the whole concept of like yeah. you can hear what she's talking about yeah like you can hear where she is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it yeah. sounds like something's happened with a label or a management. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. It sounds like yeah. it sounds like people have been using her. Yeah. And she's and she's like, nah, nah, no, thank you. I'm rejecting all the energy. Yeah, this yeah. is where I'm at with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And again, I, I haven't spoke to her. You know what I'm yeah. saying I don't know, but I can yeah. hear that. Yeah. Understand yeah. that. Yeah. And it all connects. Do you know what I mean? So all of that is a big deal. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like that's true. Think, think about all the albums you like. All yeah. the albums that are mean something to people. They have yeah. that, that title is very important, and because it helps them explore the themes that you're meant to yeah. be exploring. Or even Just, like Jay Z, Reasonable Doubt as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So back onto you, like um, as well. We were talking before, but um, I came to hear yeah, the link up you did with Mercus Dave. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of wanted to ask like how did you two link up how did the project come together and like yeah um Ooh. with the show and everything all right so murkish dave is the best <laughs> yeah nice no, he's, he's the best yeah so i can't remember how, how i actually linked up with him if i'm being honest but the first thing we done was the song on his album okay. niggas need each other oh yeah that's a banger so he hollered me i, I must have met him before i can't remember yeah. or he listened i can't remember yeah. but he said can you do a verse of this song I said, yeah, whatever, of course. Yeah. I didn't really know him like that, I'll be real. Yeah. If, if I did, I don't remember him. I'm not very yeah. good, but I, I forget a lot of people. I can't lie. Okay. It's very bad. I'm bad with names. <coughs> I'm bad with, fit, like, I forget. Yeah. Oh, I met you before. I'm like, oh my God, sir. Anyway, but we done niggas need each other. Yeah. And I, so I never heard it until it came out. Okay. So when it come out, I listened to the album. I said, oh my God, what? this is. Yeah, he's different. <laughs> Bruv. He's different. Like, I, yo. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is so I was I always explain it like this. Uh Mercury Dave um changed my life. Yeah. Is the same as Boy in the Corner. It's Boy in the Corner for thirty year olds. Okay, I see yeah. Like when I was seventeen, yeah. I was I think I'm the same age as Dizzy, yeah. Boy in the corner was me. Yeah. That everything yeah. words start like oh my yeah. god. So like, it was your life basically. It's like man's yeah. life. And I, I think that's why it resonated with so many people. That like, yeah. really was a snapshot of London in two thousand free yeah. over London. I think that's what you was going okay. on. That's the type of things man were dealing with. X, yeah. Y, Z. Marcus Dave changed my life. Yeah. Was or thirty plus or yeah. thirty. Well, you're around them age there. Yeah. This is life. Yeah. Like this. This is your life. Yeah. This is your life. And like, I couldn't I believe you. when I heard that. I couldn't believe it. I was, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, and then I heard yeah. niggas do each other like upside. Yeah. Yo, like it just became iconic, bro. I can't yeah. even lie, bro. That is like. It's one of the favorite things I've ever been part of. Yeah, no, it's an anthem still. So I started speaking to him more, and he's just an amazing person, bro. And he's obviously he's incredibly talented, yeah. and we're just very similar. Yeah, do you know what I mean, except for yeah. he's like he sings and I do whatever the hell I do. Yeah. But apart from that, we're very like we're very similar. Okay. Again, we're similar in age, yeah. similar experiences, and but he like I'm just I'm just a big fan. Yeah. So we need to look after us again. I came yeah. up with the title. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I like that title. It's as a well. great, strong yeah, title, isn't it? Yeah. And we said, well, yeah, let's, just, let's just do a project quickly because he was meant. To, you know what's mad? Yeah. He was meant to release. What was my one? Make it alive. He was meant to release his second album. Okay. Was, and I was gonna release, make it alive. Okay. And obviously, pandemic hit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we just thought we'd just do this quickly. That's yeah. why it was in like December. It was around December this time, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we just have this out and whatever. Yeah. I hope we might do some videos and whatever. Yeah. And obviously, we didn't get to do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get to do any of that. But I'm so yeah. happy we done the show because we wasn't going to yeah, do the, the show, show as well. Yeah. So the show was amazing. Yeah, man, was I want to do it again. I think we should do it again. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I feel like we should do it in like a band or something. I'll probably cry if we've done it. I love that album. Yeah, like, man. I love it like I'm not part of it. I'm not saying it because I'm thinking. I feel oh, like, like, for, like an objective. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish more people heard it. Yeah, it's yeah. really incredible. I'm not just yeah. saying that because, again, I'm not saying it because man's on it. Yeah. It's an amazing body of work. We need to look after us, yeah. But how it looked, we just get, he just came to my house. I yeah. recorded at home, yeah. and we just wrote it. Come to my house every day. We sit, sit there, we write, we yeah. talk. Like 
again, I don't really do that. When I make music, I'm very, I'm by myself a lot. Yeah. Obviously, you know, I write everything, and then I'll be like, I want this person on that song, this person on this song, yeah. and I'll approach them and yeah. rare, rare. Whereas that one, we sat down together. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. And that was, it was nice. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I think you can hear it in the project, the conversations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very conversational. Um, and yeah, then it became, yeah, I think, oh, I love, I'm gonna listen to that when I leave, actually, I'm gonna listen to yeah, it. Yeah, nice wave, and I like the the cover as well, because I think yeah. he's solution as well. Yeah. Think, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and that's why we got the solution yeah. real through, throughout the project. When yeah. you listen to it, it's obviously, see the girl speaking, she's speaking um, solution. Um, oh, okay, I see. Is so it? that that is like, oh, bro, it's perfect. Bro. Yeah, 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 that's sick. That's we got sick. Stevie on the cover, Stevie Grimes, he's done the cover. Okay. But yeah, it was because of that, that we, cho- we chose them colors. Yeah. We had, what a time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm saying? I'm scared to even do it again because I don't know, yeah. like, yeah, we'd have to be in that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we, we, that, yeah. we spent a lot of time together and yeah. we did anything, but yeah, no, I've got Mercury Dave, man. I do. 